Hi guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. It's a rainy and cloudy day in Florida, but we just really wanted to show you this one. Didn't want to go home without doing it. Leopard 53 Power Cat. There are very few good walkthroughs of this boat out there, so we figured we must show it to you. Make sure to turn on your notifications right there underneath the video is a little bell sign just click that so you never ever miss a new video all right let's do this let's check it out <laughs> about this 53 power cat model is that this hull is actually a true power cat hull. So it's not a recycled sailing catamaran hull. So the performance is definitely completely different and is a true power catamaran. Another thing what they did on this model is they actually upped the volume of interior volume by 30% from the previous model. So can't wait to check that out. That's definitely sounds pretty massive. It's pretty tall here. Freeboard, right? Yeah, it's a good looking cat. All right, come on board. We're at the bow of the 53 Power Cat. Yeah, we're gonna do it a little different because we are kind of shooting between the raindrops. So keep an open mind. It is definitely typical Florida summer weather, starting at the bow. So what do we have here? Lots of layout cushions. Good amount of space. Oh, big fender storage. Wow, okay. Massive. Yeah. I know we keep saying massive, but it is massive. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like there's a matching one on the other side as well. And the access to your windlass, <laughs> um, our bridle is right here, our remote control is right here. Pretty, pretty easy setup, easy to get to. Yeah, nice to see as well. And it's protected so you're not walking over the chain. Yeah. So looks let's like see. that is going to be the same. Oh, so much rain. Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, huge. It's, it's really big. That's a big storage. Yeah. Built-in cup holders, nice little touches. Yeah, I see a quick connect freshwater outlet right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, there's a little crew quarter kids cabin crash pad. Actually, not too bad. And it's air conditioned, guys. No way. Yep, there's an air conditioned unit in here. Right now it's used as a storage, but easily used, at least for the captain or the crew, to sleep in at nighttime. Yeah, short trips, Right. probably okay. A lot of the times people feel like when we say crew, it means like a full time and full commitment and the person is constantly living on board. A lot of the times uh, people would get, you know, just on the trips, they use it as an owner operator. And then on certain trips, um, they would like to entertain and just, you know, want to go for a weekend and get a captain. So it's OK. You know, it doesn't it doesn't have to be like a massive cabin for that. 100 percent. So what I noticed about the new design compared to the previous, the 51 foot power cat, mm -hmm. Um, it seems like the freeboard got a little taller. Feels tall. The boat, the boat sits a little higher out of the water. For I mean, sure. The windows are incredible. I love the center door. Yeah, the center door is, is great. I mean, that's definitely Leopard's signature. step down there and open this. What's underneath? Uh -huh. Ah, propane locker. Yep. Two, with two bottles. Two bottles. Really easy access, especially with the front door. Yeah, super the bow, great. The, the bow door. This door is fantastic. Right. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Keep going? Keep going. All right. 
Which side? Should we go on this side? Yeah. All right. We're going to go on the port side. Yeah, it does feel tall. You're right. Freeboard does okay, feel tall. Okay, go, let's go going aft. Look how wide it is. Yeah, it's really... It is a 53-foot Very, foot very cap. comfortable. Very um, nice. Got a nice rails, hold rails everywhere. And look, this is, this is really nice. Very safe walk around. Yep. Good, good name. Safe staircase to the aft cockpit. This specific boat has artificial teak and I think it looks really, really awesome. It's obviously an add-on, but I think it's well worth it. And um, the way it feels, it's really nice as well. I agree. Super nice. Yeah, it and just very makes the easy, boat look clean. Very easy to maintain. Yeah, totally, totally agree. So we're in a cockpit, which is big. We have this table, which I guess is um, an add-on, which is really nice. Add-on here with uh, cup holders and indirect lighting. Look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful. They've got this uh, Raymarine camera built in, so it's nice when you're backing up and being able to see what's going on. So these are for dive tanks that the owner had installed. Storage for dive bottles, yeah. Well, this is a massive layout cushion. It's a good spot to do an afternoon nap. So they've got this here. Hmm. Ooh, seems like a, an add-on for... Wetsuit drying. <laughs> yeah, right? It's a great location for it, because yeah. whenever you have it on the lifelines there, it's, if it's windy, it's just blowing everything. True. But this is nice. It's always protected when you anchor it. The wind, you know, you always get protection from the wind, but you still get to, to dry everything. And a nice way to hide the full enclosure that they have there, which is a sh it looks like a shade. Shade enclosure. It's, it's a mesh. Mm -hmm. It's a mesh, yeah. Also for rain. You know, it keeps Su the rain out. Super cool. I like the way it's hidden and just really easy. Unclip and just rolls down. I definitely noticed that the um, clearance or the headroom of the hardtop is really, really good. It's, it's a very high uh, ceiling here. Agree. Totally agree. It looks, looks really nice. It's a really big cockpit for a 53-foot catamaran. 53-foot catamaran, yeah. It's really, really nice. What's over there? There's a TV here. It's Got just a like a little prep TV. table. Yeah, little countertop area mm -hmm. right there. Okay, very cool. And then um, rod storage and. Yep, yeah, rod storage on either side. And also, we love them. Can never have enough cup holders. If you're a real boater, you know how important that is to this, have a cup holder. <laughs> this table is beautiful. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. I mean, that's just like easy one, two, three, four, five, six. Could do even you eight. Could, you could even do eight yeah, if you add another two chairs. Two chairs right here. Yep, totally doable. Then we have um, a hydraulic swim platform in the at the aft portion, which carries right now a 13-foot AB tender, and there's still plenty of space. The sugar scoops are really wide. Look how big they are. And what I personally really like about it is how they come around to give you that extra step to get on and off. That is so right. It, that's one of my things. I'm sometimes a little scared of. Especially kind of a, with the catamarans. You yeah, know, just you... on cert, certain catamarans, not naming any names, you got to really do this really wide, kind of a scary jump. This yeah. is nice. You can hold on right here. For sure, especially, you know, you're, you're usually on an anti or in, in a double wide and, yeah. um, you know, you're, you're boarding normally from either side of the vessel. So totally, yeah. That that's, makes total sense. That's great. Yeah, that swim step is awesome. I think when the dinghy is off, it's probably a lot of extra playroom. When the tender is down, I mean, it gives you a really nice beach club area. I like it. Okay. All right. Flybridge? Engine room we do afterwards. Let's go and check out the flybridge. Flybridge. All right, let's do it. Stairs are so wide. Super comfortable staircase. Since we just walked through it, of course, you have a weather door to close it up, keep the rain out. Look I, at this, guys. They went all out with the artificial teak. So cool to have it up here as well. It's really nice. The boat always just looks cleaner and feels better on your feet. So what do you think about the helm? Great helm station here. Big, big bench, easily for two people. Have your engine controls there. Your Yanma monitor is right there, engine start stop button, and then this boat is fitted with uh, Raymarine electronics. Got your bow thruster control right there. 
stereo fusion stereo control and then this boat is enclosed or half enclosed flybridge enclosure all around the front and the sides up to there it's great enclosure i really like it super easy yeah it's, it's a really nice enclosure I okay mean, the, the size of this flybridge is massive so you have this sitting area this here i think personally i would love to have one of these you know that you can I still don't know the name for them. It would be really cool. I think if I build one, because just this way you can have a full layout, kind of nice. But obviously whoever built this, uh, build it to their specs and that's what they want it. But what do you think? Like this flybridge, very easy, 15 people. Oh yeah, it's massive. Look how big it is. Entertaining wise, for sure. So you have a sitting area for underway, then you have a dining area for like 10, and then you also still have a massive layout cushion here. Oh wow. Yeah, it's really big. That so is great. They've great. got rod holders here. Tons of rod holders. Yeah. That hard top is really cool. And I guess this was custom built for this boat. The owner wanted to have it an easy access to the hard top. You might ask why, I, you know, you might think easy service. I'm thinking sundowners up there that's what i'm thinking <laughs> easy safe way up never yeah. have to put a ladder away and we got um, our track vision for the satellite tv right there and i think this this actually kind of adds to the to the style looks cool i don't mind it at all yeah all right so big entertainment space here double electrical grill you've got your wet bar an ice, ice maker. maker refrigerator yeah and uh, and storage area yeah storage yeah good storage area mm -hmm. yeah that's and cool. then also i saw underneath the outboard uh bench there there's your life raft storage if you have one as you should have one rod okay. holders everywhere here as well Maybe. yeah more rod holders mm -hmm. oh no this is a light for here oh okay and then let me see if there's a light switch or you think Somewhere it's kind of like here. indirect lighting? Um, yeah. And then a really nice, soft, indirect lighting for the entire flybridge, which I really like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, look, even, even there's even um, cup holders cup right holders there, there. Mm -hmm. where they're supposed to be. <laughs> it looks more like a bottle holder. <laughs> We're not supposed to drink when you drive captain. anyways. <laughs> All right, let's okay, keep cool. going. I am dying to see the interior. All right, let's check out inside. Interior. Two big sliding doors here. So check this out. Come on in. you can tell how nicely insulated everything is because that's really loud outside can't hear anything i can hear it Be barely i mean look at that massive thing going by it's so loud oh, it's much bigger than it uh, it looked <laughs> oh yeah yeah so it's really it's really nicely insulated i don't hear anything very inviting space right Okay, so a few things that are definitely jumping out at me that I really like. Well, first of all, can we talk about this uh, leopard paw <laughs> carpet? So I cute. like it. It's I like so cute. It. All right, now back to serious stuff. What's really nice is it has that kind of a modern, edgy style, but all the corners are still rounded, which yeah. is very nice. I do really appreciate that. And it's modern, but it feels warm. It doesn't yeah. feel cold. Totally. Well, I think these are also kind of helping super cute. Mm -hmm. So this galley, the way it's laid out, it's really cool. I'm really, really digging it. Okay, so look, you've got this whole counter space here. Mm -hmm. You've got a four burner gas stove, Neely. Rico's favorite. Big microwave. Convection oven. Mm, yeah, yeah, convection oven. I'm sure you, if you order one, you could get an actual oven. It's whatever, whatever you prefer. Mm -hmm. Look, this is a nice storage space here. So this is a freezer. You're it's right. a sub-zero. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's an additional freezer Correct. to... To the massive... The side-by-side. -side. Massive. Really nice. You guys, if you don't know my fridge struggle, Check it out right here, but oh, this is nice. And look how, this is really nice. 
Is that a vegetable? Or flex zone. You can make it freezer or fridge. And freezer. Big draw freezer. So and you've got an extra one. Additional. So, yeah, so definitely whoever ordered this boat, they wanted that. I guarantee you could have a full-size oven here if that's what you want. Okay, so what do we got here? Let's check it out. Storage. Good storage. Yeah, nice here. Then we also have drawers. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Great silverware drawer. Yeah. Okay, yeah. more storage, more storage space. Yeah. So there's four drawers here. There's also something here. Wow. wow, that's a deep storage. Does it come out? In I, a... I call it Victoria Space. Check it's, this it's really, out. Some two really deep tops. Great for just dry, dry storage, dry stuff. Great. Oh, yes. This is like three or four times the size of what we have on our boat. And I use that all the time. If you guys haven't seen it, check out this video and you'll see how I use these spaces. So what is here? Looks More? like there's another, yeah. another one. Oh yeah, they're definitely making use Fantastic. of all that space. Really cool. All right, so important stuff. Dishwasher. Gotta have a dishwasher on board. Great. Okay, trash. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a sink or you can dry stuff here. Well, it's not a sink because it doesn't have a thing, so it's not. It's your drying rack. Well, actually it does. Yeah. Second sink. Yeah. Very cool. I like that. And also you can use it for store extra storage if you don't or want if to you use have it that stuff way. standing out when you you know before you go underway, mm -hmm. if you want to just put stuff away, like your, your dishwashing soap or whatever, that will be a perfect spot to put it. Yeah, very nice. This nice little hanging rack there. And then this boat has actually the upgraded version with the yacht controller function. So you can control the boat on the side decks, fore deck, aft deck, wherever you are and um, maneuver it. I found more storage. More storage. Mm -hmm. Oh, big storage. Great, really nice. And obviously those spaces, you know, it has a nice ledge to it. So you can have baskets and stuff like that to put extra things if you are going on a long journey. Open this. Another one. And more storage. Yeah, very cool. All right, what about the salon here? I really do like actually the carpet. It's very, very comfy. Yeah, so it's nice because most of the time you don't have any kind of carpet. It's really nice on your feet. And this one, it just clicks in. Since you have the template already, if you want to replace it, super easy. Oh, there's a oh, safe. There's safe in there. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Storage. Okay. That looks like uh, this one? Yep. Oh, yeah. That's a good size TV, too. Mm hmm. And this looks like charging stations as well for your phone. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Really nice. Good size. And then just forward of that, we have our interior helm which is very comfortable. Let me see the visibility. I can't see anything. Oh, come on. It must be foggy. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Nice and rainy out there. Oh, that's great. Just walk you through here quick. Um, we have our engine um, ignition, start stop buttons, our engine throttle controls, USB outlet, you want to charge stuff, your Raymarine electronics. I mean, it's all very easily reachable. Two cups. Again, very important, <laughs> very important <laughs> VHF, your Vectron uh, control panel and your stereo fusion stereo. Nice couch here and nice, nice L shape. I and mean, it's a good size. It's like our table, but it's so oh, much it's... more, so much prettier. The woodwork is gorgeous. And that would be your nice little, you know, evening um, casual dinner snack table. If you want to watch TV, does it go up and down? Uh, yeah. Sure, looks like it. Yeah, it does. It goes up and down. Oh, very cool. Nice salon. Definitely, uh, definitely very nice. All right. Indirect lighting again. Really nice lights here. Yeah, everything feels very comfortable and warm and inviting. This is definitely a leopard feature. It's a watertight door. How cool is that? I mean, if you don't need the air condition and you can actually create that cross breeze, amazing. All right, let's check out the cabins. We're gonna go on the port side. This is a three cabin layout. So we're gonna check out the guest cabins first. Okay. Gonna go Going forward. forward. Mm -hmm. 
All right, what do we have here? Washer and dryer. Wash dry combination. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Okay, so here we have our generator control, our water maker control, 110 and 220 breakers. What's down here? And we got our 12 volt breakers and inverter control. Coming right. in. It's a good amount of space, really nice. Good space. Mm hmm. Totally. The colors are nice. I, I like the, the combination. Let's see here. Got a TV right behind you. Uh huh. Seems like every cabin is outfitted with a TV. Yeah, it might be a little small for some people, but that's easy to change. Looks big. Decent outboard storage. Yeah, very nice. There must be a closet as well somewhere. There is a drawer, a large drawer here. There are two drawers actually. Oh, they are? Wow. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah, that's a good amount of storage for a guest cabin. Well, there's got to be a closet too, I think. Let's check this out. A full size mirror here, that's cool. And We've got hanging locker here and there's access right here, I guess. It's a good size hanging locker for guest cabin. Oh yeah, totally. Got your air condition control panel right there. I really like this. So, this is really neat. Get it's the glass on top, the frosted glass on the bottom portion. Instead of going conventional door here and having all this door issues here into into the head they actually kind of i really like this this is a nice solution check this out how cool is this yeah, that's awesome very cool so oh, good size good size on suite yeah get a little medicine cabinet here storage down there mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Nice little shower setup. Really nice looking fixtures. It's good headroom, right? It's not bad. Decent. Yeah, yeah. pretty decent. All right. Got our hat. Let's head aft. And then again, pothole to open. Create some breeze. Oh, nice and low bed. I like that. Oh yeah, that is really nice. Really nice and low. Yeah, look, they did this same thing here. Big windows. That's a TV on the outboard side. So this is something that's obviously not giving you that much room, but maybe the, it would be nice to put a little shelf here, you know, to utilize mm -hmm, a little mm -hmm. better, but this is, uh, it's okay. You've got a drawer there. Draw underneath the bed. Mm -hmm. Big draw, actually. This window is a pretty spectacular. Look at this. The amount of light is super cool. Yeah. I like it. It feels very open. Mm hmm And they did the same thing here with this door. Yeah, that just comes off. Okay, cool. So... Very nice. Pretty cool. Yeah, they kind of opt out out of the, I guess, shower doors mm -hmm. this way it gives you more space and then since this whole space is you know kind of a wet space it's okay a solution here yeah it's pretty good yeah, we got our head so again medicine cabinet with the uh with the mirror on the front yeah i mean this this is a great amount of space here kind of cool got some storage underneath here too huh you have a tank level monitor right there Okay, it's a good size shower, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's very good. It's a nice right. head. Everything feels really bright and kind of airy and super nice. Oh, I want to see the owner suite. Who is with me? Let's go check it out. And let's go. Oh, and can we just talk about this carpet? So cool. Again, it's just same thing. It could be easily replaced because it's already, it's just the snaps here. Super cool. I really like this. I think it's probably an option. Oh yeah, definitely, and I really like that. I think it's a really nice option. Also makes it a lot quieter on the boat. All right. Okay. Off to the starboard side, to the owner's version, uh, the owner's cabin. Oh, yes. Come on in. And? Wow. What do we think? Wow. I, I just don't even know what to look. Well, first of all, look at the size of these windows. This is cool. Got a great privacy door. It's kind of typical to the catamarans. Mm -hmm. um, also, what I also like is they actually have Rico. Look, that's something you would appreciate. You have cushioning right here. 
You actually have a, a proper gasket. Mm -hmm. No rattling and better sealing. Yeah, so once it's closed up, look at this cabin. This is a good size TV for, uh, for, the, for the master. Yeah, for sure. Storage underneath. Oh, good storage. Again, you, another drawer. Yeah, drawer, big drawer yep. as well. So you go little working space, um, you know, makeup station slash work area. Very nice. I mean, what a nice place to, uh, to do whatever you're going to do with this window. So cool. Mm -hmm. Drawers there, big drawers here. Very large. Yeah, I like how they look, they utilize the space because obviously yep. there's something here, but they, they did a nice job of just utilizing and making the Fantastic. drawers out of it. Really cool. like the lighting in the cabin. Um, yeah. The indirect lighting makes it very, very comfortable. So you've got this little little sitting area, kind of cute, getting ready and stuff. Getting Looks like a big hanging locker. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Very nice. Oh, that's a good size. Very good. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Can we talk about the shower? Okay, we're going straight through to the shower. Whoa! You're kidding me! This shower, is, shower with a view, huh? This is massive, you guys. I mean, that's like a three-person shower. <laughs> I mean, you can dance in here. Look at this thing. Yeah, fantastic. What? Well, since we have that much space, I guess we both can go in the shower. I mean, look at this. Look at this space. Wow, I am impressed. Yeah. Definitely impressed. Very cool. And then you have your toilet here. There is some kind of storage right you here. You mean the head? Yeah, the head is right there. The head. So, oh yeah, so we've got like a little linen. Like a linen closet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. There's your toilet paper. I think that's access or... But there's no door here, right? No, there's no door here, which you would want, right? I would like to have yeah, a door no, there. You yeah, no, like your, you like your head privacy. Yes. But this is really nice, I gotta say. Pretty impressive. Double sinks. Big medicine cabinets. Check it out. Yeah. Really Very nice. Very cool. And then we have some under sink storage as well. A lot, actually. Oh, yeah, deep storage. Yeah, a lot. A lot. Wow. A lot. That is correct. That's awesome. And all of this here. Look at the other side. The other side as well. You've got drawers on top, and then again, deep storage underneath. Yeah, very Good. generous. Very generous amount of storage, for sure. Definitely, really impressive. All right. Okay, should we? Uh... Oh, wow. Yeah? Yeah, can you go over Impressed? To the side there? That is a good amount of space. I mean, look at this. Holy moly. Uh, wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive in. Do it. Yeah. I'm gonna be mad at you if you didn't. Look at the perspective, you guys. Wow. And you haven't even seen this here. Okay, here, you take it. All right. All right, you guys, check this out. Okay, we got our battery banks right there. Um, all our Vectron chargers, charging units, and so on. Our steering right there. There's still so much space here. So much space. And it can be closed off as well uh, for, for insulation. You see the sound shielding here. Um, we got the sound shielding forward. Got our water maker here, or part of the water maker at least. Membranes down here. This is pretty impressive. This is really, really great. I mean, we have a, a, um, our Yenma diesel inboard right here with a straight shaft. Um, so ma ma maintenance wise, it's uh, easy to maintain. Don't have sail drives, which we have to pull the boat out all the time. This is really impressive engine room. That concludes our tour of Leopard 53 Powercat. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it because I certainly did. I think it's a really cool liverbird option, cruising option. Condo on the water if you're not into major cruising. What a nice layout. Um, really cool boat. If you are interested in purchasing a leopard, all the contact information will be in the description below. As always, we really appreciate you guys liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Subscri subscribe, subscribing and sharing really, really makes a difference, and we really, really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the outtakes. Did we have any outtakes? I don't know. We can come up with some. Um, and then if you're not following us yet, here's Victoria's and here's mine. What? What is it? Following us on Instagram. <laughs> uh, I post interesting stuff. I don't know about you. Uh, okay. I'll post right. some stuff. We see you guys on Instagram. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. If you have anything else you want to chat about, DM us on Instagram. Um, any, have any, anything we can help you with when it comes to nautical lifestyle, please reach out. We are always happy to connect. Enjoy the outtakes. It's water. Oh, it's fine. Just whatever. <laughs> All right. So we are in... What, what, anything else you wanted to say? Got your access to <laughs> your... Okay. <laughs> no, I see the shoes. Okay. What? And, go ahead. Go ahead. Ew, Got a look, big... look, look at that thing sitting what? there. <laughs> Ew, oh, wow. what is that? Oh, no. Oh. Um, hold the what? Hold the boat out. The boat? The boat out. <laughs> Do it again. Very comfortable space to walk around. You're filming this way somehow. No, filming you the whole time. Okay. So I can. Okay. You hold it too long and too weird. Just, you're just. Okay, come on. Never happened to me. Never happened to me already before. Breaking the camera, and everything. Can't give you anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would the flybridge be okay? Yeah, we're done on the flybridge. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we don't need the flybridge as long as it's not like yeah. super. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, talking should be fine. Right. Fusion, stereo. Pointed that out already. Oh. Shall we? Um... Since it's already pretty much a, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, sorry. What's it called? There we go. When you Square? No, when they make that, if you already have one made, they can just make one easily for you. What's it called? Custom. Oh, come on. I don't know. Yeah, when they come in and they do the... Template. Yeah. Appliances look really nice. Appliances? No, the, um, <laughs> what's it called? Fixtures. Do it 13 seconds. Uh, percent. Jesus. <laughs> a 43 power cat. Well, first of all, it's really important to point out that these are actually... 53 power 50, oh, what did I say? You said 43. 53, okay, sorry. All right, let's check out the interior. <gasps> wow. <laughs> what is that? I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a big commercial um, I don't even know what that is. What it the looks heck like, is that thing? It looks like a barge. Ay, ay, ay. Looks very environmentally friendly. Not. All right. Hey right, guys. Back, <laughs> back to the leopard. Ay, ay, ay. All right. I'm glad we're going inside. That's going to be loud. Might have to wait a second until he's just done at least backing up. What the heck is that thing? Right. It's oh, a it's a barge. It's a barge. It's a container it's a carrier, yeah. It's a really strange uh, aft portion of the boat. What the heck? We need more speakers. More you speakers? And, you and I need more speakers.